is to be only mildly prepared and then uh can I point or do I have to I think I gotta restart the whole thing. Dang it. Ah. So hello everyone uh today is the 10th of May 2021. I hope you all uh had a wonderful Mother's Day uh wherever you are uh unless you're in a country that celebrates Mother's Day on a different month in which case uh, I hope you appreciate that it was Mother's Day in various places, and have a good Mother's Day when it comes around, uh, your time of year. Uh, but, no, nah, yeah, this is, um, yeah, I, it's, it's been, it's been a hectic time for, for me, and for, I guess, not like hectic as in, like, you know, things are, things are happening, and oh my gosh, like, uh, but I definitely had that feel, uh, feeling of, uh, an overwhelming nature. This is far. This is what I get for not passing it. Go. Sensor bar. Sensor bar, please. Sensor bar. I'm gonna need to do pointing today. Oh my gosh, and I can hear myself talking. It's miraculous. Very odd. Uh, hmm. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to stop that, and then I'm gonna have to configure, or just... Do we get into it? Hold on. Closed Dolphin. Plugged in. Nothing to using it. I... I didn't... I should have tested this. I really should have tested this, like, right before. I was just like, no, nope, I'm, I'm just gonna play F1 right before the stream. What could possibly go wrong? Well, this... This could be what possibly went wrong. Um... Oh, perhaps I've got the worm out thinking for one thing. So I was thinking, yeah, maybe, it, maybe it's that. Yeah, it actually could be that. Oh, no. It does know what a what a, a nun track is, but if I do, if I press the button on the I think I turn off my device Bluetooth stack. I got a nun track. Oh, I got it! I got it. I'm 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 an absolute god. Okay, all right. Stream is back up. Let's do it. There we go. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> we're all good. The stream is not dead. It's only been three minutes, so... I've had a very, like, hectic, uh, week, just because, uh, a lot of, lot of new things, a lot of things I had not experienced before. And some of those things, I, you know, I regrettably felt very frustrated about. Like, in hindsight, it's just like, man, you know, like, why are you getting yourself so worried about stuff like that? But legit, Legit, sometimes, sometimes, you know, you, you, you just get something. I should have checked, I should have checked that. Hungry livers. Are they actually hungry livers? They are. We've got some in uh, the kitchen. Let's go. Uh, so, the goal for today, by the way, is to get all the stars. Uh, I have, I think it's about 19 stars related to the, uh, to the uh, engine, no, the garden up the very top. There are two purple comets in this dome, and there's two, pu three purple comets in the bedroom dome. And that's it. That's all we have left. Here is one of the untimed ones. I think I had asked myself at the end of the last uh, stream, like, oh, I can't remember really any of the other, like, more casual, just chill uh, levels where you just pick up purple coins. This is one of them, and I remember noting another one, 
and I'm pretty sure I can recall one other one off the top of my head. But this is, indeed, just 100, 100 coins. There's nothing more about it. It is just, it's 100 coins. I think... No, they're not all above the, the water. There's some underneath. How about let's start with the ones above the, the water, particularly over here. But this will be good. Nice and chill to get into into the spirit of things. Um, so yeah, some sometimes you know I I've been feeling rather rather frustrated with, with things around me. Uh, I always find if things are out of my control, uh, you know I, I lose that agency and I, I get absolutely frustrated. With that. Uh, to that, you know I always find it's important to to breathe. I know, like, it, it sounds cheesy as, but like, legit, legit, like, when, when people go like, you are now manually breathing, like that kind of stuff, it's like, legit, taking your mind off something is like crazy, like, how it can really change your mood. And so if you're frustrated, tell yourself to manually breathe. You'd be a surprise. And it gets you to, to stop, stop worrying about things, because that as well, it's not good thinking of, well, Depends, I guess. But I find it's not the best to think about the same things over and over again when it's that kind of scenario. Sometimes, you know, you, you run through something like, oh, could I have done something different? Uh, or if it's something upcoming, should I say something different? You're you. You're going to do what you do on the day. You know, you plan for some things, but you can't plan how other people are going to do things. So, uh, don't, don't worry about it. You just take a day as it comes. Take what happens. Uh, I think I have to climb up the tree, though, don't I? Mean, oh. This is a rather awkward tree to climb up on. There we go, and there's not even any coins on top of the tree. I'm sorely disappointed. You got these wonderful swings, though. This is an enjoyable level, uh, as much as a uh, certain individual who I have kept mentioning in the chat just today. Uh, you keep telling me that you love these levels, I'm like, fair enough, but man, is this... Coins. Uh, so, but this is, I guess it's neat. You get to experience just the island and all the little trinkets on it, instead of, uh, you know, they spent all the effort making, making a, a level, you know, some place you can walk around and really do things on. So, I guess they're making you make the, the best of it. The purple tinge around the outside of the frame is uh, quite an interesting one as well, because it, it makes the stream look quite interesting, I guess. Now, so, what they've given you is also, I might as well get the coins uh, here. Or is that one singular coin? We need to move the camera while you're in the water up here, by the way. Uh, let's go for it Alright. There we go. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure... Ah, oh, this one on the... Hang on, I'll come back for a later because we're going to go in the the, uh, the gimmick of this one is that you do indeed get the spring mushroom. And you will quickly learn that the spring mushroom expires on water. Look at that. That's one of the most fun uh, coins that you miss it. Uh, but the other thing to note is that you can use a spring to really get up here. Where you'll need to keep it because you want to be able to climb up to up here. I'm fairly certain you can jump up here otherwise. You can see that star. I'm gonna climb over there. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh. Yeah, this is this is a jump on. There we go. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna need to keep this because I gotta wander around there. This is a neat level. You can always grab that if you're uh, like sending yourself as well. That's always nice. Oh, but it's like, where where am I in space right now? I'm not saying the Beach Ball Galaxy, but it's cheating. 
Uh, I think I can jump up there, so I'm good to touch the water. But yeah, exactly 100 coins, so you gotta, you gotta make sure you don't quite lose track of them. It's not too bad. Like, if you're playing like Mario 64, you get draw distance on like coins and stuff. Actually, yeah, no, you do. You don't get draw distance on red coins, but, but uh, regular coins, yeah. And especially a lot of them despawn. At least, at least here you do get. Whoa. At least here you do get your ability to wander around and really take it in. Oh, of course, I think there's one above the tallest concrete. Do I regret dropping the spring? Uh, I don't think it's above here. I think we're good. I think I'm good. Also, glad there's no full damage in this game. That's fun. Alright, let's get this one up on this guy's head. Alright. It's free time, it's still fun. Put that up there, really. Alright. Uh, so what I'm hoping is that there are six coins underneath here. Underneath the water here. Uh, oh, bounce. There you go. Stop it, though. Uh, there's another one. No air on the purple coins. Uh, I'm gonna get rather concerned because uh, my plan is to indeed get all 24 remaining stars in my. Casual two hour allocation of stream time, and the longer I spend trying to get these, the more I'm gonna mildly panic. Speaking of mildly panic, let's get out of here. Just that. Uh. Is there a remaining coin down here? One more coin. Yeah, exactly. This was this was the thing I feared the most. Is that I would be one coin short and I'd have no idea where it is. Alright. For everyone chime in, I picked up five in the water and I can't for the life of me see another one under the water, so I'm gonna try and glance glance around and see if there's one above. I don't No celebration. You don't get one. Celebrate when we hit a hundred like regular human beings. Uh, don't stop the dancing. What is the camera? Help! Okay, I'm good. I remember there was a uh, chest here on another level. Oh my god, my nose has been absolutely uncooperative for like a week. I apologize if you're gonna hear like sniffles all the time. Uh. Alright, sorry. That's alright. Uh, I gotta spring that one. Oh, I put this one for the last one. Yeah, really? Okay. Alright, so I'm rather over time, but I'll get there. The worst part is Freeze Flames. Gonna have the worst one. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's another hundred coins and uh, a similar seven of each. We're, we're just not stopping the count on this one. Well, Mario seems to be very happy about getting that stuff. I am too, I guess. 97, Galaxy complete. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, bring it on, bring it on. Let's try and try and speedy boy the last one. They didn't put the last comment in there, did they? No, because I still don't have all the all the stars outside of them, so. 
Uh, so here's my secret, is that why climb up to the top there when you can actually just get the star? It's actually quicker, I think, to get the star. The red star. Fly your way up to the top. Yeah, that's a cheeky one-up, by the way. It's just there. Just land Mario right in there. Get him in there. Alright, so, I showed off the one-star galaxy. So let's show off the remaining three galaxies in the game. I think we're going to get there eventually. This is the Deep Dark Galaxy. The Deep Dark Galaxy uh, features generally not a lot of fancy gravity stuff. It's actually a level, surprisingly. So this is the Underground Ghost Ship. Get used to seeing this, by the way, because there's a lot of comments involved in this area. Uh, there's a lot of... Uh, yes. stars over this, this side bit as well. Sorry, uh, star bits. Just kind of sitting there. But your your trick is that you gotta see the cannon and go, Ah, yes, I'm going straight for the rainbow star here, because it looks lucrative. And there's also a fire flower on the planet. But, let's go for the one. Mass genocide of these uh, tank guys, who I think are actually Octoroks. I'm not really picking up Star Bits that much, am I? Well, as I said, I'm out of it until I am not. I don't know. Uh, so, grab the Fire Flower and you swing Star yourself back onto the main island. Uh, they're not particularly kind to how much time they give you with this star. Uh... Enough to, like, be able to do it, but definitely not. Not a ton that it's actually the clearest. I guess it's just like, you, sit, you know, you see the gate, you're bound to have played one of those uh, stars that, uh, doesn't, you know, you know requires a little light things. And, uh, and down you go. This reminds me of a certain, uh, Dire Dire Docks. You don't have to go right down to the bottom, though. Oh, it's not mine. Give it a spin and away you go to the other side of this wall where there is yet another grating in the way. I believe there's a, a switch here, isn't it? I cannot see a thing for the life of me. This camera is actually being incredibly uncooperative. I got to blame the camera, right? That's, that's a fair thing to always blame. I thought the switch was actually near the top. Jeez. I don't know what these things are. I think they're like bloopers, but... Oh, sorry, bloopers. We're past the stage, they're bloopers by now. A lot of jellyfish, a lot of weird stuff. You got that weird Cave of Bad Dreams music. You got booze, again. You got this pirate ship. You got a lot of, like, level here that's not even, like, the most explored. Because if you come in here and just stand up on the ship, You got a, uh, a reused boss fight. So, same deal with the last one. Uh, just dodge the, the red, you know, spits. Go for the green ones, catch them. You get yourself a lovely shell, which you can use to destroy Camilla here. This time, she tries to terrorize you on the poop deck itself. I'm to telefrag you. I wonder if you could be quick enough to get it before she looks like that. Now I'm angry! She just moves up top, like that's it. Uh, yeah, climb a flagpole? How cool is that? They got flagpoles in this game. No flag in that place. Oh, uh, Fire. Not nice enough to make a commander when we do uh, shells as well. And was that two rotations of the fireballs? Excuse me? There's a 
little bit of a lock on there. I hope you noticed that. Gosh, jeez. Chill, Camilla. I am not getting any more Cyber Do 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 do. Whoa! Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Angle. And also, uh. Chill. 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 Jeez. Give me a shell. Give me a shell. Give me a shell. Give me a shell. I know. I know. It's trash. First try. Didn't even sweat. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I love how there's no, there's not even any music in here, it just, it's just ambient, whatever. Alright, well, I am taking my time to get these remaining stars, so let's, let's hurry it up. Oh, no! No! Oh, no! I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna. Purple Comet is in orbit. Really? Really? So, uh, yeah, yeah, remember what I said, this pirate ship, oh, you, you don't even have to, like, look around here. Yeah, you gotta look around here. Yeah, launch yourself just straight into the bit. Yes. And away you go, 100 purple coins, go get them. So I guess I could be quite chill, um... But, uh, yeah, I... It's, uh, it's been a rather quiet week in a bit for, uh, for video games, I guess. I haven't really been uh, paying too much attention, but I can't really think of uh, that many games that have come out. The one thing that I'm mildly looking forward for is the new Elite Dangerous DLC. That actually looks really tight. Uh, Elite Dangerous is a game that I want to like, and then I realized that it's a lot of time commitment to really get into it, but it's exactly what I actually would have liked out of a game like No Man's Sky, which I tried for a bit and I was just like, I, I have got you know, huge interest in this. Um, I think the thing is that I'm not a big fan of like crafting mechanics. I kind of like it to just be, you know, a bit more, a bit more pure. And I know like crafting is like, oh, but you love Minecraft, you love that kind of yeah, yeah. But, you know, like, really love it. But, you know, in both those games they work, because, you know, collecting stuff is fun. There's a lot of other games where the collecting stuff is not fun. You can't just stick crafting on it and just say, like, it's fun like that. Oh my gosh. There we go. I don't really think there's any huge need to climb up here at this point, but I particularly do want that and the other one. I appreciate you can you can wall jump up the ship. <laughs> oh, this is this is a bit of a horrendous camera angle. Is this, is this going to be the one where I just blame the camera for, for all of my life's concerns? Maybe that's it. Like one thing where I was like, oh my God, I'm getting frustrated with things like that. It's because of life's camera. There you go. The camera of life is positioned wrong. There's purple coins on the, on the side of the ship are actually like the meanest thing, so... I am reminded of uh, that one... Uh, I guess it would have been... Is it... I don't know what level, but there's a Duke Nukem 3D level with a ship. Or is it Shadow Warrior? It's one of the ship. I think they both have ships. I know Duke Nukem's got the, uh... Oh, I'm pretty sure it's Duke Nukem, because I remember, um... Yeah, 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 it's like an episode 4 level. Near the end. It counts. I know, I know, Atomic Edition, but who cares? Burr, 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 burr. You got all these toads chilling. Ow! 
Uh, I don't think this one's as, as rough as Beach Ball, but it's still, like, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's not exactly the quickest to get, to get this, the coins. Okay, I think that's good on the other side. Let's go for it, let's get out. Let's get out, let's get out, bro. Uh, let's do outside the, the ship first. I'm gonna hope that there's nothing in the boxes. I'm gonna be awfully terrified if there are some, but... No, for the moment. Yeah, nothing. Uh, so this, this little, like, spotlights, I assume to kill the booze, but... I don't think there's any booze on, uh, this level in particular, which is interesting. Again, the star bits are not very, uh, appealing. Put that coin up there, like, really? Oh, yep. I was running, but then I was like, yeah, no, you're not running anymore. Remember just like some of these coin places. I'm just like, man, that's really, really a bit mean with some of these. Like, you see those underneath? And you're like, what is going on there? I think you gotta, you gotta bounce off the hole. Is that? Yeah, that's basically what you gotta do. Like, it's... Who did this? Who said, yep. Uh, what's the odds that the star is on top of the? Like, Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking the star is going up there, so let's, let's grab these ones. I'm 100% missing some, and I see one right over there, and I'm like, yep. Oh, well, I guess I'm getting that one. I keep, okay, legit, I keep hitting down and up, but Mario just jumps. Sorry. Don't jump up. I keep hitting down and A, trying to, like, pitch myself up to get out of the water. There's a Mario game that you do that in. I cannot remember for the life of me. But this one we controls are not like that in this game. It's just that there's not much swimming in this game. So I keep, keep mildly forgetting that that's the case. Swimming controls are always, like, something that will never be standardized. Like, no one has any idea what is the best way to indicate swimming. The best you get is, like, I think, like, the, the pointing style. Where it's, like, um... Uh, like you're, you're effectively pointing your way into the water. I think that's the best one. Uh, and I know that's probably a more controversial one. Oh, that one going over there. I think that's probably, yeah, one of the more controversial, uh, ones. I, I, I think people are a bit more, uh, yeah, like, legit, legit. Okay, at least it's on the base of the ship. At least it's on the base of the ship. I think people are big fans of the, the one where, like, uh, you've got specific up and down buttons, and then you're constantly, like, going on a, a you know, like a flat plane. Uh, that one's pretty alright. Um, what's a game that does that? There's, like, a, there's a Zelda game out there where the swimming is like that. Um, I think the, I want to say Wind Waker. No, Wind Waker doesn't have, like, underwater swimming. They can't decide which, which Zelda games you can swim underwater and which ones you can't. Alright, so, regular star. Mad 99. I'm half an hour into the stream. And we'll see how we go. Alright, so, we've got Bubble Blast off. I don't know, man. <laughs> all right, all right. What was the name of this enemy? What was the name of this enemy? You gotta, you gotta remember who he is. Oh! 
again, again, the same boss, different scenario. This is exactly how you make bosses fresh when you do them twice. Gun that stretches the boss. Uh, is this is this a coconut out of the way? Yeah, I guess. Every time. Interesting. The level starts with the boss. That's good fun. All right, so don't get baited. Secret planet out the back here. Does this remind you of another planet? Well, that's okay because you gotta you gotta screw this planet. To which then the textures start moving a little bit, but in particular, there's a bajillion coins. And then the coins get a little higher, and it's like, oh, no. Uh, this is just for funsies, I believe. Because then the planet breaks, and then you fall back to the, the one with the, uh... Yeah, with this going on. Oh, I should have... Do you have to... I think you do have to light the, the torches. Yeah, there's three of them. Dang it. I don't know why I forgot that. Oh, well. Let's get that rainbow star, let's go for it. Seems like a more crowded place than last time. We're a bit afraid though. Oh, well, that was good fun. Uh... Unfortunately, there's a lot of things that go on that are not necessarily video games. I've really appreciated a lot of a lot of recent music. I listen to Van Weezer, to which I know them like oh boy Weezer fans. I'm sorry. Ah. There you go. To get an ice flower. I know, right? All the power-ups. Also lets you realize that the music is slightly different. So you can't do this one's kind of interesting, because usually a level is different because of the, uh... Well, because of the, uh... Um, uh... Launch stars that they give you, but this one is actually, it relies on the power-ups. So you have to know that there's a... Wow! Wow! You just have to know that there's, a uh, You know, stuff to be had by lighting the same platform again. Yeah. I know, it's a real weird platform. Your, your guess is as good as mine, what's happening there, but... Uh... Nice. Still nice. There you go. Alright, then just continue climbing your way up. Can't reach me. Not good enough. Whoa! There you go, you've just gone off the space. So now, we have the puzzle. Can you figure out the puzzle? It is called hitting the wood. Uh, there's... There we go. It turns on the bubble again. Cheap cheeps. You can actually kill them in this game. I know, right? And then we've got this interesting one. And, uh... Well, you can add, send, send that to me in this one. Uh, yeah, this one's a, a bit of a weird one. you got these balls bouncing around. you got to hit the balls such that they make a watermelon. Miyamoto's got a thing with watermelons, apparently. Yeah. Mario's a little bit shocked at, uh, at that Imga link, let's just say that. Uh, but now I've got to look at it, so... Oh, nice. Nice, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's, that the, the biggest one and the smallest one need to switch. Or maybe the biggest one just 
becomes the second biggest one. How about that? Should be. <laughs> and I, uh, I, I do not understand Weezer as like as the cultural icon that they are. Uh, here we are. Okay, Daredevil comment, by the way. You gotta do that that uh that ghost ship without taking a hit. It's the same the same gosh darn area that we've just experienced a couple times. You gotta do it again. So diving in, head first. What do we got? Yes. One health. Again, you got these booze on the outside, but are they really a concern? I think I only did I take one hit? I think I took two hits on the boss, so. I love how there's a moon back there, though. That's cool. Okay, well, I have bad aim this time. You bet your sweet blimmy I'm gonna do it. Blimmy. Yeah, oh, I thought I was gonna miss that one, but... Oh, that's okay. Ooh. Ooh okay, give me the shell again. Sure. I mean, as long as they're giving the shell more often, I'm not gonna be too fussy, but... I mean... Am I gonna die on this more times than Boulder guys? Maybe. Alright, 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 this is gonna be the tough part. Yeah. What's with the two rounds of fireballs, by the way, and not just like going straight in with another, or like, you know, shell, fireball, shell, fireball, instead it's shell, fireball, fireball, shell, like... Ah! Oh my gosh, so close. At least there's enough, like, particles going on that you can tell that it's going to be a fireball or a shell. Like, you can see, oh, the shade so the shell. At least it's that. Ooh, ooh, were you about to just, like, phase out? Like, you didn't care on that one. Jeez. What's going on there? What is going on there? I don't even know. Point is, I gotta start... ...taking them run. Taking them run. It's a very quiet room. Oh, this is going to be the fun part. Getting enough star bits by the end, because I've only got 500. I've got plenty of stars to go before the 100 Luma, but I'm going to need 1,600 star bits, I believe. So, i got to pick up another 1,100 star bits and 20 stars. Some of these stars are not particularly kind towards that. So, this is Guppy and the Underground Lake. And there he is. There's Guppy. Guppy. All right. Uh, this time they actually figured out they probably don't want to get in the, the same you know, area twice. So they put a little spit roast and covered up Guppy eyes. <laughs> the house are still not dire dire docks. It's got eels. The eels are really aggressive. They're going. Yeah, there's Guppy in the corner there. How do you get down here, by the way? There's Guppy. There he is. How you doing, Guppy? Why, you again? You gotta be kidding me. You wanna run me out of this lake? You gotta get through all eight rings! Go for it. Also, I love these mines. They're angry. I think this is actually like raw swimming. Like, I think you get a sh oh, you get a shell here. So. But you got you got bloopers. You got like mines. You got this. You got a lot of stuff to watch out for. It's not as much like a chase as the the last one though. Apart from that. Yeah, 
that's that's also just like a fun fun bit of perspective there. There you go, Guppy. Where is he going? Oh, Guppy, you monster! <laughs> you monster, Guppy! Fish of my word. That was an awfully quick star, isn't it? Yahoo! It's just there. You just do it. No complaints. No qualms. You just go for it. Yeah. Well, that's an enjoyable uh, star. So now that leaves one <laughs> big a joint with Cuppy. Ooh, man. What is what has Guppy been doing? Here? He just wants a place to call home. Okay. Uh, so now we got the secret star. Uh, you can get this from any of the stars, so don't listen to that. Go for number three. So point is, uh, let's go. I, I I think just don't do this in the first one because like this door is closed. The second one you're okay with because you don't need the ice flower to go up the platforms that don't exist anymore, but uh, you just need to get down to the bottom here. Again, it's the same rigmarole swimming down here. Uh, I'm going to go for that shell. And uh, what do you do with the shell? This is a bit obscure to be honest. I guess you just have to notice that there's a launch star down there. And if you blow up all these mines with a shell, that blows up. You just have to know that that's going to happen. We have entered the puzzle cube. It's kind of the same as another cube in the game, but... Gosh, that blue is just the worst possible location. Oh, oh, okay. You're not gonna hit the you're not gonna hit the switch. There you go. So work your way all around the box, and you've got a lovely light source, which you can then use to terrorize the boo. Uh, now here's something. The star is over there. I'm barely certain you don't have to flip the gravity. I think you can just go for it. Oh. You can deal with this guy being all right. Yeah, you can just go for it. <laughs> Such a meme. You gotta start. That's actually that is the end of the deep dark galaxy. Relish in it as you as you have. It's gone. It's it's gone. Yeah. And that is star 103. Maybe I am catching up. Who knows? I'm gonna say a maybe on that one. I'll try my best. We no longer see Guppy. No, I think Guppy is like. Oh, he may be in the sequel. He may be in the sequel. Uh, this next one is Dreadnought Galaxy. This is a back to basics galaxy, to be honest. Infiltrating the Dreadnought. This is literally just Battle Rock Galaxy 2. It's, it's just the same. It's just the ship looks a bit different. Oh, and I remember this one had the, uh, one of the most painful cover boys. Yes. But, yeah, we'll get to that when we get there. Uh, so like all good levels, it has a lot of stuff going on, but it's honestly just a bit of platforming and nothing too fancy. Just don't stand in the lasers. You're good. 3D platformers and their chessboard pattern flooring. I think you have to know how to kill these guys, so you gotta spin them, and then jump on them. Spin them, and jump on them. Ouchies. Well, that guy, was, that guy was a bit more set up, wasn't he? Here we go. I don't suppose this is a bit that I can shortcut up now, not particularly those balls of fun from 
Mario 64? Yeah, same. Wow! Okay. Well, no life mushroom for me. No life for me. Uh, okay, so... Looks like I'm flipping the gravity. There's only one way it's going. It's kind of neat. You got a bit that crushes you, and then it turns into a bit that crushes you. And you don't even need it to get... Ah, oh, you do need... Oh, snap! Mario is really dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jeez. I am so sorry. Just impaled. That's not impaled. You pancake Mario right there. Is that today's death count? I'm surprised it's at one. Oh, I just want to like, you know, get ahead in life. Well, that'll be two. Oh. There you go, bounce ball. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. And finally, into a pipe. Just to get all the way onto the other side. Uh, is this the pain that I remembered? No. Yeah, these bombs are not necessary. You just need to bounce off the little top men right here. There we go. I think if you actually were crafty enough to carry a bomb all the way up here. Sure, but... Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of, like, notches and just weird things here and there. But here's a fun one. You've triggered the alarm systems, I'd imagine, on this planet. Uh, it's just the planet. It's got a star. Oh, sorry, Slung Star. Sorry. Uh, and now, I believe, the, gra the gravity's just a bit mean here. Where it doesn't quite let you jump it. I know, right? And you can try your best. You can try your best. It, it just won't happen, I think. I think there's no going about it. Yeah, you, you just can't quite cheese it. Except maybe over here. I think you can actually see it over here. I don't think you can really jump anywhere from here. Uh, back to the start, I guess. Alright, so, what's the gimmick of the doing? Uh, if you're over here, you've got, well, you can see there's a bit with water, and a bit with a bullet bill, and your goal is to make sure the bullet bill does not do that. Alright, come on, Bob. Oh, oh, he, he, he didn't feel like living today. Alright, here we go, 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 Colin. Here we go, he's gone, he's gone. He's going, he's going, he's going, he is still going, he's still going, he's still going. You've got to be kidding me. You, you've got to be kidding me, bro. What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. Okay, there you go. Look at that. Water. Plays the, you know, the battle rock music, uh, and those things suddenly become platforms. I guess that's the, the hint they've gone on with it. Uh, you can say pranked again, right there. I'm pretty sure the right one takes you where you need to go, and the left one just directs you to like a one or something. Now, see, I was already up here. The game's just making fun of me. Swerved. 
but unfortunately not all of them are platforms, and fortunately for me, uh, the jump was doable, so, ah, that level design. bit of a microwave, you know, mm, in the back. Oh, yeah. I, I have not dread. I do not dread. Maybe I do dread. Alright, at what point did the word dread, like, start to mean hair? It's... I don't, I don't know when. What does that mean? Dread. Like, I know what dreads are, I'm just like, where did the name come from? Dreadnought's Colossal Canyon. Cannons. Not canyons. Cannons. Yes. Oh, and also, just a mild reference for those of you in, in exam seasons, because I know May is around the time that people start getting onto exam seasons. Uh, have very good luck. Make it, make the most out of it. These that get degrees, you know, good advice. There seems to be only three notes that, you know, totally match. Well, chain chomps, I want one. And it's giving me a hundred. How cool is that? And then they all explode. And all those switches we're doing would keep you in here. Is this is this a Mario 3 reference? Are these, these, are, these are no better in 3D. They actually, I remember they reused these quite a fair bit in a 3D one. 3D man, rather. And, uh... Yeah, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yell at me and on this one. What was that sound effect, by the way? Just a second. Just telling you, hey, bombs, just, just in case. And then you just see all this around here and you're just like, oh, God. what have they set up for me? They have set up... We call it the Colossal Cannons, but and this is what I meant by like it's basically a battle run. Because here, here we have a side scrolling platform with cannons. This is this is basically the airship level of the game. Like we we had the screws, we got these like bomb, we got these cannons everywhere. So they get to play on it a bit because you get to stand on the ceiling, which is always a bit of something to throw you off, but you know the camera angle is actually set up quite nicely. Touch that, like you are seeing it from a legit perspective. I don't know what's good like this platform here because uh, this is the one that moves. And they're a bit mean with the form. This is the fun part. Have it go sideways, because sideways is the thing that throws you off. If, if, if any of you guys have tried, it's rather easy to read upside down. It's not very easy to read 90 degrees. Anything 90 degrees, it throws me right off. <laughs> They've just gone a bit over the the cannons. But if you can survive that, then you get to see whatever this guy's kind of gardening right over here. Which is, is kind of weird. He's, he's there, he kind of baits you into jumping towards him, but... The platform just moves towards the one that you actually care about, so... so there you go! There is yet another star under the belt. Below the belt star. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's 105. There are 15 stars left of the game. If this was any speedrunning event, it would be like, you know, hype, hype train, hype squad. Let's let's get it to to 50. I don't know. It's been a while since I've watched a GDQ. Um, 
Revenge of the Topman Tribe, did you think that this game was going to just keep using the same bosses over and over again? Because you may be correct. You may be correct. So here's a fun one. Uh, on the underside of here, there's a pipe. There's one thing to reuse a boss. There's another thing to reuse a star. This one is a little more involved than the last one. Because there are six spots for the for the bombs instead of a... Uh, yeah, instead of a... Uh, three or five. So here's my trick. You get one, chuck it there. That's... Is that really far over? Maybe. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm probably screwed. I've messed it, I've messed it real hard. I'm not, I'm not throwing them in the right spots. And this one's not gonna go off. Like, you really only have time to pick up six. You gotta do it faster! Yep. So, you gotta, you gotta get it quite right. Nothing screams love like destroying garbage. Alright, it's gotta be right on the mark. That's pretty alright. These are looking pretty pretty encouraging. Oh, snap. I don't think I've given myself enough time for even the last one. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate, because, yeah, I think you got to get, like, another bomb in the blast. Okay. Alright. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted, right here. Oh, I think I've thrown that really far over. I did it yesterday for the point, the bombs at the point spots yesterday, I did the first try. Alright, so here's my trick, is that I'm gonna put, do the bombs in the middle last, and I'm gonna hope that this one blows it up. You've gotta be kidding. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay, real talk, I threw the bombs in the spots. <laughs> didn't quite work out. I don't get a trick, it's maybe we just gotta... Like, not spend time... Well, you gotta spend time walking the bomb, that's the problem. Oh, that is way too far over. I don't think it's gonna get this one. Let's just chuck another one, just in case. Hey! 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 Thanks for the follow. Your follow has magically made it work. <laughs> you have done it. You're a legend. I appreciate it. Ah, oh, that was good. That was good. <laughs> well, I was a little concerned uh, that uh, I'd be spending a lot of time getting all those purple coin stars. Mario just decided to stand there for a bit. Um, I've only gotten ten stars. It's been fifty-nine minutes, but I am gonna, I am gonna try my best to really finish this. Ah, oh! <laughs> no peace. You got, you have to get all these stars. Thanks, man. Good. Thank you for the luck. Send. Alright, so the purple comment in this one, that's only, I think, I can only recall one off the top of my head. One more purple comment left that's not just one of these timed ones. Now this one, again, I think there's a hundred, there's a hundred coins. You cannot miss any on this one. It's this whole sequence with a hundred coins. They are rather generous with the health. But you gotta be on point. You gotta make sure you are not missing any of these coins. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, you gotta make sure you're not missing any of those coins. Now that's not too bad when it's the regular way, but you've seen the sequence of the, the platforms here. It's gonna get kind of kind of absurd. I don't need the luck anymore. Also, the luck is for this too. Ah. Exactly. Is, is luck a commodity in today's market? Uh, also, putting the coins vertically. Good on them. This is the meanest, like, one, by the way. That's the meanest one. Putting three on top of the swamp like that. Uh, uh, and for reference, this button goes up a little bit, so. Yeah, this is the this is the part that's probably gonna throw me off. <laughs> Wait, it went a little close to that ledge. I think it's just because like the the odd amount of depth here. Hey, I. I'm feeling confident, I'm feeling good. This is when they chuck six coins here just to be a bit mean. Oh, and bonus points, I've got coins over that guy. Uh, ooh, why did I jump that one a bit, Casey? I'm at 99. Is that one coin at the end? There's a mystical, like, there we go. There's a mystical launch star. Oh, sorry, sling star there, by the way. That's, that's an absolute, like, miraculous one. But yeah, that's this launch star, and you just come up to this gym over here. And if you if you don't have all the coins, you can just ask him, and he just nails you. Hope you can finish, because I never did. I, I, I've finished this game before, so it's it's not too bad, but... It's definitely, it does get quite tricky. Some of these purple coin stuff get really tricky. I don't think the, uh, the, the three galaxies after the green stars are that particularly tricky. Mostly because, like, the manta ray is not really that, that tough. It's only the second time you've, you've used the manta ray. But, you know, these purple coins, it's like, yeah, no, like, they know that you've beaten Bowser. They know that you can go for it, so... And that's, I think, one thing that's great about these Mario games, is that every single one of them seems to have, like, a fair amount of challenge that's beyond, um, beyond, you know, you know, like, very, very optional stuff, very extra stuff, but, you know, there's, there's a lot of, like, extra challenges to do in every Mario game. I think Odyssey is, like, particularly grueling when it comes to getting all 830 moons, but some of those moons are just like, what is going on there? Get him! Uh, and there's another one there. There he is. I gotta think of like this part is that this this whole song and dance of hitting the top men's into the lasers has been done before, and they don't deal damage, and there's not really any any huge uh, difference between this and the last time that we encountered them. But they launch you towards some of these cool little Sputnik planets. You gotta hit the switch get the, the things. Here's something though, uh, you got this guy chasing you and there is a singular uh, bit here which does require bouncing off him. So it's mild application and there was some in the last level as well, the last star. I'm surprised the top men never appeared in any other Mario game. There's, there's a bajillion Mario enemies that they've only ever used once. Uh, this is the Nutri Bullet platform. We gotta get that Battle Rock music back up. I have half the moons. I got a little more than 500, and then you bought your way up to 914. I specifically like wanted to see how far I'd get without buying them. And, yeah, like, I don't know how people would legitimately find all 830 on the road. It's, it's an absurd task, but, you know, people were asking for that kind of stuff, and sure thing. I love this, uh, this plane, by the way, where it's got the little ring indicators to tell you where all these guys stop. Uh, there exists another, uh, ex like, extend health button. Wow, that seems good. There's just, like, I think there's one up in the chest, actually, because there's another extend health over here. 
And also, yeah, that's the effect when you've already got one. Alright, real talk, how cool is it that with a compass you can draw two circles and you can like always get a 60 degree angle? Like, that's just crazy fun. Uh, I'm not too sure if they intended for you to jump around it, but considering it's going to be the exact same boss as it was just before... Yeah, I'm not going to keep passing. So, uh, as I said, exact same boss as before, the only difference is... Uh, watch that the wall uh, rotating. It's really not too bad, because like... It's going to back up into a wall and you can just hit him and he's just going to hit something. It, it's, it's, I don't know why they thought Top Man was a hard boss. And they gave you the, the, um, the Daredevil comment on him as well on, on one of the levels. On the, uh, the Battle Rock one. Um, yeah. So a good thing I don't have to fight the Top Man again. 108? I'm at an hour six. This actually, I, I feel like I'm going to be pushing it for the two hours, but I'm going to try my best. Oh, and I've got to be Bowser at the end, and I've got to do the, the library. Speedy Comet. Oh, I'll get this, this galaxy finally, you know, ruled out. Uh-oh. Watch out, everyone. It's a Speedy Comet. <laughs> for that same level, yet again, this, this boss gets four four iterations it's virtually the same boss and you've got to do them four times it's like okay if there's one thing i can rip on this game is that a handful of these bosses you gotta fight so many times for these like repeat stars uh here's the big meme they've given you the wrong wrong guy it's not the exact same star as well that's the best part actually yeah wait a minute yeah what's this guy doing down here did I ever tell you the definition of insane? Y y oh, oh, excuse me, Mr. Body Blocker. Get him out of there. Get up here. Nothing's as bad as, like, the, the, the brown piranha plant monsters from uh, Sunshine, where you literally have to fight two before you even get, like, your second star. And then you've got to fight, like, there's, there's one in the first star of Bianca Hills after you've fought two already. There's one on the, uh, like, to get into the, um, the second level. It's, like, they're everywhere for some reason. There's, there's yeah. The King Bluebus is a few. Something to are gone. And yes, hello, YouTube. FC3 was a great game. FC3, Far Cry 3 is a pretty good game. I've got, like, some qualms about, like, you know, the... Like buggy missions, but for the most part, it's like, hey, here's a game that actually like does contextualize the open world. Right. Hi, YouTube. I'm actually curious how many people like watch the boss later. I know there's some people who do, so if you are there, then say hi, YouTube, in the comments. This is how the uh, uh, very artificially farm your YouTube uh, credentials. Oh my gosh, you've got to go up. Alright. Oh, I'm a day. You know what's the best part? I may be almost dead, but there's a life mushroom right there. Give me, give me joys of having a life left in there. Alright, but I think you can instant death yourself pretty easily by just doing that. So. Hi YouTube. Alright. Once the way into the end, this is the same star that we just saw. Like that's that's the thing, is that if you're doing this as a as like a let's play, it's like or, or any kind of playthrough. Everyone's seen all this like ten seconds ago. Anyone catch the Barcelona race? You could have guessed the top three, am I right? Don't need it! 
the one on the right just gave up didn't even try. And with uh, about half the time used, I'm basically at the top man, and 100% did not take three minutes. Mara is not liking that jump. Backing himself into a corner. Yeah. Oh, yep, there he goes. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, come on. There you go. Yes. Again and again. Oh. Oh. I, I don't know why that's supposed to be a challenge. I still don't know. Four times now. And I still have no idea. At least, uh, wh wh whatever my favorite boss was. What was he called? What was he called? Undergrunt Gunner. There you go. That's, that's the favorite boss. Three times, different way every single time. That's how you do a boss. Don't give me the same guy. Four times and just like, oh, we removed the walls. Like, yeah, okay. So that galaxy is done. This leaves one single galaxy left the Melty Molten Galaxy. Because every game has to have a lava level. Every single Mario game needs a lava level. I don't care. They all need one. Uh. But yeah, we've got the sinking lava spire. I like the music on the ball. You know what's surprising? I feel like space volcanoes would be rather common. Like, I mean, molten may not quite be the, the kind of term I'm looking for, but you know, the geysers. They're everywhere in space. I'm sure there's some cheeky cuts you can do on uh, this level, but... Whoa! I really jumped that one a bit weird. Uh, you gotta be on the lookout, because there's coins. Okay, coins? Who uses coins? Right. Now, there's a cheeky spot here. Yeah. Not wrong cheeky spot, but it was a different cheeky spot. Uh, I guess that's the cheeky spot if you're speed running. Oh. You can do that. Uh, cheeky spot number two. Disregard this thing. Jump in the volcano. Do you guys play Spyro 2? Just. You should know. Switch, lots of star bits. Good stuff, obviously. The thing about the maybe eat you up. So have, have a wonderful explosion. Music really gets you motivated, doesn't it? Uh, were you crafty enough to pick up 100 star bits? Because you only need 80 for this guy. But. An arrow. Go on for the secret star first, why not? Really knows how to eat. That's it. I am stuffed. Time to transform. He's going. Uh, also in the realm of music, I listen to. Ah, oh, this is the Silver Stars on the wonderful expanding plan, but. Yeah, so on the topic of music I listen to, I listen to the, uh, the new uh, Godspeed You Black Emperor album, which uh, I particularly like them. I've not really gotten, like, you know, I, I haven't really diversified myself in the, the realms of, of post rock, but 100%, like, I've listened to three other albums. Oh my gosh, that's a 
Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, do I go for it? Nah, well. there you go. Uh, but I like, yeah, I particularly have enjoyed their albums, despite not really like getting myself too involved into like learning the genre and stuff. Uh, oh. Okay, the last one's over there on the right. There we go. I love how you've seen this, this planet in the back as well. Now where is this gonna go? Oh, that's not too far. Okay. It's a bit perilous though, if I do say so myself. Uh, but, oh yeah, I, I really... I went the wrong way. Nice. Just commit. I went the double wrong way. what I slipped on, but I'm just gonna jump for it. Okay, so, uh, but no, the album was pretty, pretty good. It's, um, yeah, if you, if you don't really listen to, like, post-rock stuff, just, just kind of think, like, long, you know, slowly crescendoing, slowly building up lots of, lots of voices and lots of, lots of, um, you know, just really fleshing out an idea. That's basically the genre, from what I can gather. Um, Godspeed, you Black Emperor is particularly good at doing it in a way that makes you feel some build up of emotion without necessarily like uh, reaching that payoff so frequently but they do reach the payoff and that's the best part about it is that it doesn't just end in like some weird you know like whatever i've been disappointed by some songs before it's just like you know there's something good about it and then it's just like oh like they miss out they, they miss the mark um no, I, I, I pretty enjoyed it. I'd probably say it's uh, one of the better releases I've heard from this year. I've got a few other ones that I want to this year. Uh, particularly, I look forward to listening to the new Liquid Tension Experiment album because 2011 can have my babies. Let me recommend a good song, Roy Knox Firefly. I'm sure I'll get that listen. I'm more an album guy, but I, you know, I may actually give the, the whole album. Um, sometimes, sometimes you have songs that are contextualized more by where they position themselves on the map, like where do they, like, you know, where do they really, um, you know, fit in terms of tone. As well as also showcasing that a band is more than just one set of ideas. Uh, oh, that's what I get for preemptively going for it. Maybe I should have done my shortcut. Oh, yeah, I'll definitely give it a go. Uh, I'm going to jump down here because I do kind of need some more starbits. Uh, I, I saw I only had 800 and it's like, oh, I'm going to like 110 stars, aren't we? Like, there's five more in this galaxy and there's five more for the comments that I have to run. That's kind of it. It's getting real close, isn't it? Hi there, reuse planets from uh, Space Jump. Almost the same idea from Space Jump as well. I really fast that off. Eh, what? What? Excuse me, game. Excuse me. Excuse me. Could is it just like I right, touch it? Nah, you're gone. You're gone. <laughs> okay. All right. Sure. Uh, is is that counter two? Gravity, I guess. That that makes a lot more sense. It's like there's no redemption on that one. Seven. See, I caught that one. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, what the people who are playing that on like 3D All Stars so the Switch and can't point at the screen? That's a, that would be a pain if you're trying to like use your finger on the touch screen as well as like the buttons. There's a lot of like really cool like, like planets on uh, this galaxy though. We got this one that's uh, like... I'm going to wait to regret that one, sorry. Uh, this one's kind of neat. Gyro controls. But it's it's not gyro when you're playing handheld, is it? Like that, that's... I thought it was touch screen if you're handheld. Uh, the worst part as well, and I hate this about the Joy-Con, is that there's infrared on the bottom, 
of the of the right Joy-Con. It's like it's almost there. They have kind of almost got it, but instead it goes the other way, which is a little unfortunate. They could have totally, they could totally create sensor bar peripherals. Plug in through USB into the Switch dock, and then you can point like like you would on the Wii. Easy. I guess the thing is that of course it's on the well. How do, you, how do you put the infrared on the back of the Joy-Con? More of a, more of a question on that one. Yeah, exactly. Um, here's the thing, would people be willing to play with a mirror? I also like this, uh, this sinking platform idea. As well as like, wonderful gems, but... Hey, you can't have a lava level without the lava flooding. As well. That's that's rule number two. You ever play on um, Rayman 3? That game's got a beautiful flood. Actually, Rayman 2 has got a couple floating lava levels in there. That, that's just black. That's just old school as hell. Um, yeah, no, I I think Nintendo should at least like figure out something to do with the pointer. The gyro stuff is close, but it's not quite. You, you just cannot come to the, the accuracy of something pointing at a screen, which is what the PlayStation Move was basically, and the Kinect kind of suffered on. It's like, the Kinect had, had its great sensors, but, you know, no direct pointing. Oh, yeah. Triple one. Wow, that's a lot of star bits. So there's the Hungry Luma. Does the Hungry Luma only appear if you've got one star in that... Or maybe the first star in each galaxy, or is it two stars? I'm not too sure what's the requirements for getting to appear. Mario's happy, he's, he's shouting to be. Connect is made for dance game. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, it's a dance central machine. That's it, that's the only game that I can legitimately think that like benefits really hard from the Connect. There's a lot of games that I know of that are just... Why? Uh, the driving, there's a driving one. I remember that one. Look at that, I just landed. Welcome to the galaxy. Oh, I got eight to start this. That's neat as heck. It's kind of neat, because I think that's, um, that's playing off like uh, Mario 64, where like, you, you drop into the level sometimes. But I just kind of kept it up with this one. Now here's a fun little mechanic. you got to know that these guys are going to, one, chase you. This is like the first Mario game I really played on the idea of like sometimes the enemies are actually... Exos won at the launch of Rise Son of Run. Yeah, oh, exactly. Oh, yeah, I just shouted the connect. I 100% can guarantee you cannot make that jump. I'm not even going to try. I know. Ooh. I blind that one a little bit precariously, but it's okay. You know, there's a handful of games. I legit been so I've been playing the F1 games, and they've got a feature where like you you can press the, the radio button, and you can just say a command with your microphone, and like that's the perfect use of like voice commands for something that legitimately like you know you can trigger with your voice. You've got way too many options. You're not time limited. Like that that's the perfect use. I think there's there's a game uh, called like. Uh, Alpha Domain, some, it's, it's a Sega game. I could not get it running on my computer. Like, the the controller was so messed. Um, which was a bit bizarre for me. Usually, usually I can figure out how to get a game to run, but not that one. Oh, legit, it was not like working for me, so. Um, but I remember that one was one that's like legitimately tied to my controller. Uh, I love this, this, uh, like, part right here. It's absolute pain. I'm gonna probably botch it up. Uh, you can probably see exactly what's going on. We've got, we've got to get these, this bullet bill. Uh, probably don't go quite on the inside, because, uh, the bullet bill is gonna 100% catch up to you. Get more all the way in. Wow, I got a first go. Cool. Cool. And, well, 
Not quite. Not quite perfect. Oh, the people not trust them jump from that. Here we go. You just run it. You just ball. I'm pointing at the screen. I don't care. Oh, I can't. I can't jump now. Done. I did not sign that one. Quite the best. It's rather simple and short. There's nothing too fancy going on there, but you just got some holes. And it's fun that that's actually not just a bonus feature. That is legitimately part of one of the, the 45 main stars of the game. That makes you realize how few main stars there are in this game. Well, I guess main if you're counting that they're the three stars and the, the galaxies that have two stars. I think there's, a, there's so many side stars and so many ideas in the side stars, so I don't think it's, you know, something that you can discount like that, so... I'll take it back a bit. <laughs> and considering you got to get 60 of them in order to beat the game, you have to. Did somebody say Daredevil Comet? So, this is... This is the last non-purple coin comment in the whole game. Because I've been doing them as we've gone, so... Lava Spile Daredevil Run. I thought off the top of my head this was a, a, a speedy run, but no, it's it's actually a Daredevil run of the whole level. And, uh, and I took hits through the level, so... Uh, you, know, you know how this is gonna end up. Tragic. The worst part is I don't even think I can do much work that. The one thing is that I'm going to remember. Somebody said difficult because I'm about to run on it. The one thing I'm going to remember is not to jump immediately after this because I know that these, <laughs> these things come out of you right away. There you go. I have 100% lost this, uh, you know, lost a life to that pass. I'm still going into the volcano. Third time. Them star bits, bro. I need them. Yeah, no, I feel like more games, like, if they know that the player is coming from, like, and especially uh, PC, especially PC, like, they know that the, you know, a lot of people have microphones. Add some usability to them having a microphone. Because legit, legit, you'd be amazed how many games would just be like, man, if, if only I had, like, you know, the ability to signal something from my voice. I gotta be a bit careful around there. But, nah, it's okay. And, uh, this next part as well. So I remember taking a few loose hits here. Let's try and not take those loose hits, I guess. So yeah, fail the daredevil. And uh, you, you die in real life. Like, I see this. And they don't even give you coins. They're not even nice enough to give you coins. Ah, there we go. Okay. And... That one down there is actually like the coolest one. It's so close to like the wall of lava. There we go. Alright. To the moon, to the moon. Did I take a hit on this fire before? I don't think I did, but. You still have to do it legitimately. I get a very Spyro the Dragon vibe out of like a, a tall bit of rock like that, kind of tilting down. Like high caves, you remember that level? I, my favorite part as well is that this part plays the music that was just playing anyways. I don't need that. I don't need that. <laughs> Okay, alright, destroy planets. I, 100%, how many planets, like, Battle Rock, 
Dreadnought. Dreadnought blow up. There's, there's a lot of planets that Mario takes out on the way. And all for what? To collect 120 tower stars? What are those stars going to be used for? Does he legitimately think the Comet Observatory is going to be like, Oh yes, I, I need 60 to reach the center of the universe. But I need another 60 more just in case. Come on Mario, you're just doing Rosalina's dirty work now. Oh, I'm kind of glad that didn't actually result in any tragedy. I'm, I'm feeling good about that. And you know what's surprising? And I'm an hour 30 into the stream, and there are... Was that six? Yeah. Seven stars left. Seven, dang it. A little, little behind, but... You gotta have a backup. Or it's a round trip. True. True. Eight? 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 Oh, you just count the number of times I mentioned how, like, how on track with time I am. That's, that's, that's it. That's it. That's the counting. Next time, I'm not gonna pace myself. Who knows? <laughs> I have no idea how I'd pace myself if I did Galaxy 2. I guess you do a, a world of a stream. Eight. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, speaking of reused bosses. Oh, boy. So... They put a little pipe down there, how cool is that? Just to let you know that you gotta go that way, instead of the other way. But you could hit that ledge anyway. Yeah, the more star there. Oh, <laughs> I got baited. Gone. Oh my gosh, I've, I've lost it, I've lost it. Done. They got me there. Well, more starters, I guess. Now it's cool. This skip. Yeah. How cool is that? I do appreciate. I, I guess I'll give some like mildly close thoughts on this game because yeah, I mean I'm probably gonna be done with it in rather some time. I do really enjoy this game. I do really enjoy you know speedrunner. Oh, exactly. That, that's a speedrun strat right there. Speedrun strat, we're doing the one-up skip where we uh, get the, you know, you get the one-up and you get to skipping. You, you gotta trigger the, the, um, the checkpoint uh, fairly before by performing the, uh, the walk. Oh, boy. What a group of classic teammates have got that thing. Hi there, Reese Planet. Uh, I appreciate how I just walked straight to the ground. Like, oh, Does this say kill all the enemies? I think it was kill all the enemies. Oh, oh dude. I got that gate. Was this kill all the enemies? Here that I, yeah, I did miss it. I am 100% about to die. I will touch the lava. Yeah. They reused the planet and then they put in another one that kind of looks the same but it's a little different. It's cool though. It's got these lovely lava trails. Like, like the only other game that I've ever seen like that kind of just like. You know, <laughs> it's a bit cheesy but. Uh, it was a uh, Rayman. Now this planet, this planet is just an enigma. It just exists out of space. Oh my gosh! Hi. See ya, my Nintendo gamer. One five two four. I hope that's not a birthday. What? I found the flat earth. This is, this is 100% flat earth theory, but like in the other direction. Where <laughs> it's like you simultaneously have to grant the idea of like gravity and all this stuff, but then you go, nah, where? It, 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 it's cylindrical earth theory, actually. I think cylindrical earth theory like has, has some, uh, like, more of it makes sense. It's just, yeah, the, the, the problem with flat earth is that it implies that no one is taking a picture of space. 
I'll get them. I'll get them. There we go. There we go. That was all I needed. Flat Earth is absolutely hilarious. I, I love those guys. It's just like... Why? Like, and, and not just like a, oh, like, you know, just people like you. It's more just like a, you know, like, how much of your life actually changes depending on your view of the shape of the planet that you're on. I don't know. But who knows, maybe I'm just kind of looking at the straw man. Because I've seen some people who legit advocate for like, the a flat, but... I feel like there may just be people out there who believe it, but don't preach it. And you know... Who are you on that one? Uh, uh, so, so yeah, same boss as the very first star in the second star in the game. It's the second star. But, uh, his tail lights on fire, and you can't hit him all the time, and now he's angry! But it's the same number of hits, and it's the same boss, he just, oh, he spews fire everywhere as well, so it's a little annoying. Oof. Unfortunately, there's no speed runs, because we just did it. So. Oh, he, he is bolting. He's going. Okay, I'm gonna catch him. I'm gonna catch him. There, you go. there is one singular star left, though. So, yeah, this is, that's, that's it. It's just Purple Comets from here on out. Cool. Yeah. So, if you, if you, if you like the purple tint on the screen sometimes. Oh, actually, no, sorry, I scratch that, there's the Hungry Limit, but I'm like 270 star bits short, so I'm just gonna hope that I'm gonna kill a lot of star bits now. But, we've got the Purple Comet, which means I don't have to go into this building after picking this one up. No, I feel, I... Have I done one singular, like, purple coin mission where there's more purple coins than I need? I think I've done one singular level like that. So, what's this one? There's a hundred coins here. But, don't, don't worry. Because, uh, even though the music isn't tense... Oh, oh, I did think there was a time limit. Okay, well... I guess we've got another one of these. I thought this one had a time limit, and it was legitimately like four minutes. I also thought it had a speed run, so or a speed run comment, so I don't know. But uh, yeah, I, I do know it's it's 100. percent You gotta get 100 coins. Yet again, this one is not that long actually. Which one would be the longest? Well, since I've had two streams where I've been doing all the, the purple coins and also how easy it is to spot that I'm doing purple coins the screen's purple. Um, I think it would be easiest for uh, a person to just kind of go back and evaluate the purple coins uh, like twice. I don't think they'd take like that long. But in particular, like this one is not that bad because you get your, you've got your your power mushroom there, and it's pretty laid out. It's just gotta watch out for, for that one. Uh, there, there's a couple of these. Oh, <laughs> bit fine there. And we got this one, which is just like, oh, it's danger zone. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if that should be physically possible, like jumping off, uh, off that all the time. If I'm sure to stop it, I can I can do the the one uh, like flinging galaxy because I know that there's a bajillion star bits like in no time, and you can just kill yourself and just do it again. So you do have to finish the level, so there is that. Yeah, they put more coins up here this time. Wow. They didn't even put coins up here like in the other 
<laughs> the other stars. And there's also like little little blocks up here. What's with that? Uh I think I'll be climbing on this. Let's fall down, slide down the slope. And now I'm on this platform down here, where I will proceed to jump a bit the way over here. Grab some more coins. Coming out a little bit. That's okay. Here's a question. I'm curious what level I'm gonna be shunted into doing last. The comments are neat, but uh, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, that's the second time I've done that. Where I've like, I've clipped the ledge and then I've been in like ramp out mode. I <laughs> knew that is not at all how you do that. Alright, come on, once more with feeling. There you go. And would you look at that? Inside the volcano is that, but also the meanest like star bit in all the well, meanest coin in that in the game. It's just Right on top of the one bit of lava. No button to flood it though, so... And that launches you back out, but you can hit this which launches you back in. I don't know why I did that, because I've got to slide down. Maybe I should have done that last. Oops. Oh. Oh dear. Do it again. Do it again. Hi back. How's it going? You just missed out on purple coins. I know, right? Riveting. Don't worry, I've got another four purple coin stars to do. And the Hungry Luma. So, there's still that. And then, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll read off the library. I'll try and beat Bowser again really quick. Uh, this would be 115, so... <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, I do not have enough star bits to get the hungry level. So, uh, yeah, here's a question. Do I commit to just doing, I think I'll, 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 I'll do the hungry level later. But for now, I've got to jump down and realize that I'm a little bit too far for the bedroom. I'm going to do the bedroom ones. I'm going to leave whatever galaxy I've left last in the kitchen. I had completely forgotten, but uh, the four purple comets that are left are either all in the bedroom and the one in the kitchen. And guess what's the one that I gotta do? Wait, hold on. Are any of the comets active? I think they've juked me. I think they have juked me. I've just gotta get the get the star bits then. Okay, well, time to grind the star bits for a very brief moment. So, Sling Pod Galaxy. That's the one that I usually go to. It's a shame I didn't I didn't quite end up with enough star bits. I wasn't I wasn't really quite feeling them at the end. There weren't that many in the other levels. Alright, so this level was really short. And it's literally a bajillion star bits. So if I screw up like that, which by the way you get a spin, so don't worry. Watch. Okay, you can worry if you do that. Uh, but yeah, my goal is... I'm gonna say 270 starters. Gotta go to school. Have a good day. Oh my goodness! Am I... am I... Oh my gosh. Have a good day at school. <laughs> the moment you leave, the luck is gone, I swear. <laughs> Alright, alright, take it on. 270. Don't touch that. Oh, I nearly touched the next one, though. But here's the thing, it's like, like you... Woo, my goodness! It's not that I'm dying, it's that I'm dying before, like, the very lucrative, like, amount of stuff. That... 
And this is with the controller working, because I had the, the speaker thing last time disabled. That's like a 10. Yeah, that arrow. It's like if you get that arrow, you're doing great. And then, uh, we've got all this. That one you actually can't recover from. Uh, which my school is that fast? Oh, 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 okay. Alright. I did need to die at some point, but... Oh, I checked one of those. Alright, well, this is gonna be fun where I do that for a bit, and then I just go... Yeet! Okay, just, just gone. Squad hasn't died yet? Ah. The top left isn't quite like me. Uh, two out two. It, it burns! This is, this is very, very engaging gameplay. But uh, I'm almost there. 270. So, so maybe I'll just dive all the time. Hey, what's with the top left corner of the screen? It's just like, yep, yeah, a bit of a dead zone there. Is it because of lighting? Is it like, because I gotta, like, all the. I don't know, my, my dolphin bar is never like the, the corners. Alright, one more death. Good measure. Legit, you get, yeah, like, you get so many lives, like... Okay, I was, I was fine, fine, fine. I'm pretty sure that's it. Alright, so now... Legitimately beating the level. Oh, I'm just gonna be yeah, I get a few more silence, why not? <laughs> I love how I was like, okay, time to beat beat the level legit. And all me accidentally dying disappears. <laughs> None of that exists anymore. And now you gotta see the very disappointing act of, uh, collecting a star that you already had. I know, right? It's tragic. Oh, I can- I can go for the top of coins. So I'll go for the one in the kitchen. Cause then- then that simplifies everything. Cause then I can just go up, get the- the one the Hungry Luma, and everything is down in the, the bedroom. I hate this ledge. It's rather irritating, like, where the kitchen is. I don't know. So which one's the one I haven't done in here, then? The ghostly galaxy! Ah! Yes! Indeed! The ghostly galaxy. Watch out, guys. We got a purple comet in orbit this very second. It's in the bone pen. This one's an interesting one, because this is a unique... Ah, technically, in this bit. I believe there are more than a hundred coins on this one, so... Don't be too terrified, but you do get a time limit. And, uh... It's gonna look absolutely terrifying, because you get a minute. You just gotta commit, you just gotta go for the boss. This one's definitely annoying, from what I remember, but... I usually go for the straights. If you see the ones that are like curved, it's just like you know. And you can you can give yourself a bit of a bit of a cheese with the one up there. Uh, 
yet. You just gotta go around, just really try and like figure out it. Whoa! No! I'm on the other side of the bone, I'm getting boned. Oh no, I got boned. You've gotta be kidding me. There's a time I don't stop till I walk in. Oh Oh no! Oh. <laughs> That's just tragic. I, it, if only I didn't get boned! Oh. That's, that is disappointing. straight on this one. Oh, well, I, I got the coins. I don't know what more I can ask for, to be honest. Down that would be a little off screen. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah, you're not, you're not trying to just collect 1.6 coins a second. You're also trying to, like, be able to finish. Oh boy. I'm close, but I'm going the wrong way right now. There you go. Alright, bit more time. Bit more time, but... Also, the coins are angled as if you're looking at them from top down, instead of, like, the <laughs> angle that it was, it was going at there. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Alright, so... Four more stars. It's it's almost there. I definitely, yeah, I do really enjoy this game. Lots of stars, lots of challenge as well. Like, just replaying it, it's just like, yeah, I mean, they really get you, get you getting into, into all that stuff. They are so generous with the lives, but the actual challenges are pretty all right. Uh, I do really appreciate the music. It stands up. I think it's because, like, you know, we're, we're, we're post Red Book, you know, all music that has no excuse for being bad. This, this guy just, he feeds, he goes, he's sweating, he, he, his knees weak, arms spaghetti, and he just becomes, I'll just fly there, bro, you don't have to come on watch side, you can just, let me go there. The snow cap galaxy. Oh no, wait a minute. Maybe I should have saved this one for last. Alright, see ya, my Nintendo gamer. Have a good one. Star bunnies in the snow. I remember this one actually. It gave me, like, traumatic stress. Right there. Do people use that as a saying? Like, something gives you PTSD? Well, it's like. So, so it's the T. Uh, there's a shell there. It, this is kind of interesting because, like, it's just very off center. I don't know why. The whole galaxy is just this, by the way. But this is painful. So, there's three bunnies, and they're gone. And you gotta know that you gotta point at the snow here, and you've gotta uncover these, <laughs> these points. It's pain. You just gotta know that that's there as well. And also, yeah, rip the people who are using the touchscreen. Ah, uh, there exists one more blip, and it's on the other side. Nice. Nice. Yeah, there it is. Alright. Cool. And this activates the fire flower. To which, you now have two minutes to realize that the rabbits we're in. Gosh darn heckin' things the whole time. You can get more five flowers. Just... Not like every single like. 
Oh, he's... Oh. Cheeky bro. Oh, he fell in the hole, though. He fell in the hole. Can't believe you caught me. Alright, let's get the other one. At least I got the little, little marker over them, and he's getting kind of caught in the snow. Except so am I, so... Oh, actually, let's put him into the pen! You're going into the pen! There's a question. I don't know where the last one is off the top of my head. Nobody's on fire, can Oh, he is in there. Okay. All right. Into the pen. Into the pen. Into the pen. Get him into. Uh, get him into that pen. Oh, he's circling me. He's circling me so bad. Into the pen. I'm gonna set him on fire while I'm at it. There we go. I re I do remember that level being quite annoying. It's 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 a bit annoying. It's it's not too bad, but it's definitely a little bit. I won't lose next time. There will be no next time. Because that is the last star. That's not the three comets that I've yet to get. So, at this point, uh, now that I've gotten every single star that's not a comet star in the game, uh, I don't believe they're going to make mention of this, but there will always be a star that has a comet on it. I think it was just, like, I don't know, is there something, like, weird with my game? Because every single time I was clearing off stars, it would always come up with the comet for that star, or for that galaxy, and it would always come up with the purple one once I had that one. So, I don't know what was going on there, but I guess that does mean that I get to go back here. Now, Freeze Flame. Freeze Flame is the 100 coin star to, to basically rule them all in this game. Uh, it's another one of those, collect them all, no time on that. Please don't die, kind of ones. But it definitely goes for a bit. So, the whole summit has 100 purple coins, and it's a bit painful because where exactly are they? Who knows? Yes. Well, I mean, they're on the they're on the summit. I'm not really too sure how, how much more obscure I can get there. Uh, but it's got a couple of things to note, particularly, uh, let's, let's get the ice fire first, let's just, let's not say that right away. Um, it's probably not too bad actually, because there's not like that many places, like, I guess levels of this place, but it definitely goes on, and also they could have been they deserve a special spot. But I'm gonna use this ice fire to walk up up there, but also you must go over here because this launches you up. And there's a secret slide over here. So there's two two coins, and you don't want to be the guy who misses those two coins. Uh, back to getting the ice flower. Uh, there's this, which was for a lot of coins, wasn't it? You definitely want that. And also, I believe you want to work your way up here. Come on. Okay, this is this is a very precarious jump, but I got it. I got it in the end. Uh, I feel like that's the intended way of doing it. I will come down for the, the other coins later. We'll get there. But this launches you up to here. I might as well get the coins now because you do gotta work your way up. Don't do not sleep, you will get a cold. Useful advice from useful toe. He's got the glasses, so you know he knows. Uh I might as well get this up here. And we'll just like, go backwards over it. I guess this will be the last uh we see of the uh the ice flower. Because the ice flower is the only item in this game that does not return. Part of Galaxy 2. Uh, 
Um, unless there's another star that has this I'm fairly certain. This will be the last one. Um, it's an interesting power-up, I don't exactly hate it, but I guess the thing is, that, like, there's no, like, ice balls that you spit out, it's more just, you know, standing on ice. Uh, oh, I guess I'll, yeah, okay, I'm gonna address that later. I will address that later. We'll get to that. Uh, but... Yeah, like it doesn't it doesn't really get a, a place in any other any other well non Mario Galaxy too, so that. Um It's quite interesting. The Fire Flower, like I guess, is iconic. It's you know, from the original Super Mario Brothers and Mario spat out fireballs in the arcade Mario Brothers, so it's always been a thing, like there's so many games with a fire flower in the Alright, uh, let's go left. How nice of them to still leave this here, by the way. Despite there being a ice flower like, in the center as well. You just get another one if you want. Restart the music, no? But I guess also the, the the neat thing with Mario, and this is this is to kind of quell my concern there, where I was like, Nintendo doesn't reuse, uh, you know, some of the some of the items. On the other hand, it's like, well, I mean, if if Mario Odyssey is a sign to go by, this guy doesn't doesn't tell you anything by the way. He just does it for a peek. There's probably a lot of flavor text in this game that I have absolutely skipped as part of uh, this stream. So. Now, yeah, this is the fun part. Jumping all the way back down. I'm gonna commit. I'm going all the way down because I've got these ones right here. That I've yet to pick up. Because, yeah, you've, you've unfortunately got to do the, the part with the bonus star as well. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Oh. Can I just commit? Can I just go for it? They thought wrong. They thought wrong of me. They didn't think I could do it. And now you've... Yeah, so this is the part. Maybe I should have done this part last. The bits of involved shit. Oh, okay. Oh. I want to get forward off that one. No, oh, I was spinning that whole time. Mario was not going for it. Oh, that's just disappointing. That is just disappointing. Ah, oh, done. I need to go and really get these purple points because I don't want to do another stream of this game. Not that. The, the bad thing is that I just see if I can get a done in five turns. But yeah, if, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna lose track of a purple coin, I think it's gonna be this one. At least they're nice enough to remove, you know, bats and other hazardous enemies. Except for those guys, the push mode is right here. I really like the little push modes. Help, help me. Okay. I have no idea how many uh, purple coins uh, continue to be up this way. I'm really hoping that there's another 14. Maybe there's 10. Like, there's just like a light down. There's just 10. I think that's what I'm thinking. But, well, I mean, there's a few here, so. And there's, yeah, there's regular coins as well. I guess because you can touch the, the icy water. Oh, 
Oh, I do remember this. This jerk guy, the summit. Leaping from here will take all the boldness. You better make sure it's a long jump. Like, at least he gives you the warning there, but, uh... Oh, thanks, thanks for the follow. Uh, more Nintendo. Lots of Nintendo today. There's another three coins. There's another one coin. You've got to be kidding me. I left one coin somewhere. I'm... Oh, it's right there. Right there. It's, a, it's, it's above the, the coin there. Hello, Nintendo. How's it going? Oh, don't, don't you do this to me. I found a hundred coins in this. Dang it. I'm going to commit to it. Ah, uh, why yes, I would like to collect every single one of these coins. Oh wait, it's on this one. And of course, they've put the coin in... Or oh, the star, right at the bottom. Which, granted, thank you for putting it at the bottom. Well, there's that one done. That one's usually the painful one, I think. Just because, like, yeah, you do have to go all about, and if you screw up the jumps near the end... Oh boy. Oh. Yeah. Two more stars! Two more stars! These are definitely the longest stars I seem to have relegated myself to do at the, the end of the stream, though. So... Next one! Gusty Garden! Ah. Uh... This one is a shorter time one, I believe. Barely said this one is on the, the puzzle cube, isn't it? Except it's not the puzzle cube, because the puzzle cube's from Mario Galaxy 2. You know what I mean? Oh, it is the puzzle cube! Then what's the Galaxy... Galaxy 2? I can't even remember. Uh, this is... I believe another... There's more than 100. There's not that many more than 100, so you probably won't pick up a lot of them. Two minutes thirty? Maybe it is a hundred. Maybe the trick is just to like do the faces. Ah, that's gotta be way more than. Yeah, that's gotta be way more. Yeah, that's that way more. There's a sign at the bottom. That's how you know. But, uh, no, yeah, I've definitely been enjoying this game. I can still kind of see, like, there's a bit of, you know, repetition in the game. Uh, to that I would say, I believe Galaxy 2 is still my preferred of the two, but they are both rather good games, and you cannot deny the feats of the first game without, you know, or rather, you, you can't say that the second game is great, uh, irrespective of what the first game does. And I think that's... That's a tricky part with direct sequels. Um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of games out there where it's just like, you have to give the original the credit for the groundwork that it lays, such that a good sequel can be made. But sometimes your sequel is, is like a Terminator 2. It's like, you take it so on its head, it's actually really amazing. That's another like, great sequel. Just like that. Oh yeah, there's plenty of both coins. Jeez. Plenty of them. I guess the fun part is now I gotta figure out where this where this fountain was. I'm just gonna hope that it's right up here. Uh right up here. There you go. Close enough. Plenty of time. One more star! Woohoo! You got a star. That is correct. They have done it. They have identified that I have gotten a star. It's miraculous. So, yeah. It's kind of surprising that. Yeah, now, it's, now there's only a single star left. And it's on Dusty Dune. I think I've done a run where I've ended on Dusty Dune.
What did I end on when it came to the uh, the one following the uh, attacking two cans one? One away uh, seems on. Now. I again forget. Is this a exactly a hundred coins? I think this one is actually. Yes. Okay. Real talk. I thought there were way more time limits, like for the for the coins. Than there actually are. I think there were only like five out of the 15 that had time limits. So, this is a bit of a mean one because it requires you to identify that like, that's happening. <laughs> There's coins lying in the air right here. But, with enough. Enough gusto. Mario can pick up the coins. Uh, and also don't get crushed by the swamp. Oh, he's on top as well. I like this one though, because it is like a, a more linear section, but still with enough charm and ways to go about it. You're, but you don't want to touch the poop. You don't want to touch the poop. The poop is danger zone. Good this coin here though, really. You gotta jump for it. How do they make you put effort into jumping for Oh. I'm just like overshooting them, like. Alright, well, I got him. I got him, I got him, I'm good. Actually, I think that's a complimentary, uh, how far are you towed at some point, which is nice. Ooh, that's just, that's just, uh... Okay, one came to a fun time there, but also just like... Well, I might as well get these, so that... You, you know exactly where that one's gone, but I'm going to miss that one if I never get that one right now. I'm going to pick up the star bits, because of course I still need them, apparently. But this is only the last star in the game. Uh, yeah, no, they, they definitely lay out the challenges in this game quite nicely, so I appreciate that. Wow, I got that one fine. Alright, I'm gonna get that one coin because I don't trust going for it like, normally then. <laughs> okay, so 34 more coins to go. Boy, jeez. I really get you going for it. Maybe I shouldn't pick up any more points. Oh, he do be spinning. I don't remember there being this many coins lying above the, you know, like, the sand like that. How's his toes sleeping next to a tornado like that? You gotta be a real good sleeper to, to sleep near a tornado. Tornadoes are noisy. They like screaming, and he just fell into into the sand. He has become one with the dust. All right, there's a lot of oh, and this is the kind of main part as well. So it's these ones are spitting rocks. They got these rocks spinning around them. They will legitimately hurt you. And it's just like oh. This for sure. Uh, I'm just gonna get out of that one. Alright. So, I'm hoping that there's like. You know, because they, they hide a couple around here. Classy fellas, right there. Uh, I'm gonna hope that there's six left on the, on the other side. 
Oh, five left on the other side. And there's a toad in there, I don't know why. Oh, is that a pun? He's going for the pun. I, I've dried up my sense of humor now. 119 stars, I'm done with it. Just no more. Again, I still think there's plenty of time, but... <laughs> the freaking... Oh, the stick direction did not want to update on that one. And there you go. Yeah, that's nice enough to put the star not on the top. And that's it! That's 120! So, now I'll do two, two remaining things. Two loose ends. You gotta do them. If you play this game and you don't experience the library, then you're missing out slightly. It's not gonna take too long, but it's definitely gonna be... Uh, it'll be something. Thank you, my man. Oh, and Rosalina tells you that you can go to another world, but you gotta beat the game again. I know, right? It's just like, sure. You prepare to travel? No! She's <laughs> just, just, just in shock. You don't want to go to the, to the center of the universe, you know? So, come to the library, and Rosalina somehow teleported in. Uh, Let us begin. Well, there she goes. She wants to, to let us begin. And she reads a story. Now, this story uh, may or may not be a very uh, hubrisial uh, kind of story. Chapter 1, The Celestial Duo. Our story begins a very, very long time ago with a young girl. One day, this girl spotted a rusted spaceship holding a small star child. What's your name? Are you lost? The girl asked the star child. I'm Luma, and I'm waiting for Mama. She's coming for me on a comet, said the star child, who had been waiting day and night. Don't worry, I'll wait with you, the little girl promised Luma. And bonked him with the telescope. <laughs> At nightfall, the little girl borrowed her father's telescope and bonked the Luma over the head. She looked and looked. But she could not manage to get the loom of the stuff. I don't know. Hours turned into days and then years, but still the sky revealed nothing. Finally, the little girl sighed and said to Luma, If we stay here looking much longer, I'll be an old lady soon. But then she had an idea. How do you go years, by the way? Why don't we go out there and find your mother ourselves? The girl and Luma fix up the rusty spaceship and then the two set sail into the starry sky. And this is how the search for the celestial mother began. Uh, for reference, by the way, as you collect more stars, you get more of these chapters, but, uh, kind of have a lot of stars now, so. Days pass with no sight of the comet or even a single planet. Uh, pretty sure it takes more than days to go between planets. Stead asteroids extended for as far as the eye could see. If I had known it was going to take this long, I would have packed more jam, said the little girl above the rumble of her belly. Before they left, she had packed all the essentials. Telescope, butterfly net, stuffed bunny, bread, milk, jam, and apricot flavored tea. But... I forgot to bring water! At this, Luma burst into gales of laughter, and the girl began to pout. As long as I have star bits, I'll be fine, said Luma. Want some? The little girl couldn't stay mad after dehydrating. Luma continued to laugh, and the girl couldn't help but join in. Alright, maybe just a nibble. Oh boy. <laughs> Dude, don't want to catch any of those face diseases. Leaning far out of the ship, the pair began to collect star bits with the girl's net. They almost fell out a few times, but they kept on collecting. Gravity was just down, I guess. The star bits tasted like honey. Wow, I wonder what they found this time. A beam of light pierced the ship's window. Thinking it was the morning sun, the girl peered through the window only to find a turquoise blue comet shimmering at her. The little girl shook the sleeping Luma awake and shouted excitedly, We have to get that comet! The pair descended on the comet and found that it was made out of ice. They looked high and low, but Luma's mother was nowhere to be found. Exhausted, the little girl sat down with a flop, utterly unable to take another step. Look! 
peering down at the icy ground where Luma was pointing, the girl suddenly noticed clusters of star bits encased in the ice. Pretty good, huh? Finding star bits is my specialty, said Luma, beaming. There's ice here, but it's so warm. I'll bet there's water here too. The two decided to stay on the comet for a while. Riding the turquoise comet, the pair continued their search for Luma's mother. Uh, I, I, you can guess where this has gone, by the way. One night, the girl dreamed about her own mother. Where are you going? She asked, her mother's retreating back. Without turning, her mother replied, Don't fret, dearest. I'm not going anywhere. I'm always watching over you, like the sun in the day and the moon in the night. A wave of sadness washed over the girl. What about when it rains and I can't see the sun or the moon? Her mother thought for a moment before thinking that the... Man, the daughter's got the, got the, the guts to go for that one. I will turn into a star in the clouds and wait for your tears to dry. When she awoke, the girl's face was damp with tears. You have star bits in your eyes, said Luma to the girl. Wiping her face, the girl replied, These are tears, not star bits. I'm crying because I'll never see my mother again. At this, Luma began to cry too. Mama, oh mama, wah. The pair traveled through the starry skies, and though they encountered many other comets, not one of them held Luma's mother. Luma was despondent. Now, now, Luma, the rain clouds won't go away if you keep crying, the girl said, giving Luma a squeeze. I'll give you a present if you stop. <laughs> Luma's in a chokehold right now. The girl closed her eyes and said gently, I'll take care of that, uh, uh, of you. <laughs> Sorry, whoops. With these words, she felt a small spark in her heart. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> The kitchen will go over here, and the library will go over there, the girl said busily to herself. We'll put the gate here. Ever since the girl took Luma under her care, she'd been bustling about at a feverish pace. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it to make a happy home. It turned out that star bits weren't the only things buried in the ice. There were tools and furniture, unlike any that they had ever seen, and the girl used them to build a home. I skipped that bit too quick to stick most of the text. Looking at the completed uh, house, Luma remarked, Don't you think it's awfully big for just the two of us? With a library, bedroom, kitchen, fountain, and a gate, it was certainly spacious, but still, something seemed to be missing. That's right. Tenants paying two grand a, a fortnight. If only my father, brother, and mother were here, the girl said wistfully. Indeed, the house was too large for its two small residents. That night, clutching her favorite stuffed bunny close to her heart, the girl fell asleep in the starship. Then one day, while the girl sat sipping tea, a tiny apricot-colored planet appeared on the horizon. From the planet, another Luma of the same color emerged. Do you two know each other? The girl asked the two Lumas gleefully. Despite the girl's excitement, they seemed uneasy. The two Lumas neither drew closer nor backed away from each other. Instead, they just stared. Then one Luma broke the silence. My mama. At once, the apricot Luma parroted back. My mama, my mama. My mama, my mama. The two Lumas began to dance around the girl frantically and neither showed any sign of stopping. The girl was so charmed by this adorable scene that she couldn't help but laugh. And that's when something strange happened. They began multiplying like rabbits. Suddenly more Lumas began to pop out from the apricot planet. They were different colors, but they all shouted the same thing. My mama, my mama. The sight of all the shouting Lumas only made the girl laugh harder. What am I going to do with all these children? The Lumas just stared blankly as she doubled over laughing. I guess we'll have to name each and every one of you. Tomorrow, once she had finished naming them all, she would begin moving all the Lumas into the new house. Yeah, it keeps going, I know. <laughs> After seeing their hundredth comet, a sudden thought popped into the girl's head. I wonder if my home planet is still as blue as it was. That's when she remembered her father's telescope. Peeking into the telescope, a tiny blue dot floated into sight. It was smaller than a star bit. How strange, it's so far away, but it feels so close. She twisted the knob of the telescope and the blue dot grew until she could make out a grassy hill dotted with flowers. It seemed very familiar to her. Zooming even closer, a terrace on the hill came into view. I used to go stargazing there when I lived on my home planet. She remembered rubbing the sleep out of her eyes as she followed her father up that hill to look at the stars. 
She remembered how she and her brother would sled down that hill. There's a red and green hat motif going on there. I don't know. She remembered having picnics with her mother on that hill on bright and windy days. And... I want to go home. I want to go home right now. The girl burst into tears and the Loomis didn't know what to do. I want to go home. I want to go back to my house by the hill. I want to see my mother. The girl was shouting now, her face wet with tears. But I know that she's not there. I knew all along that she wasn't out there in the sky because, because... She's sleeping under the tree on the hill. The girl's cries echoed through the stars and a hush fell over the area. Though, uh, you know, blah. Though usually quite cheery, one day the girl became sad again. Luma drew close and tried to comfort her. Mama, you still have me. And don't be sad about your mama because she's a part of you. That means she's always close by. It's like me. I love Starbits because they remind me of my mama. No, no, the girl said, unable to stop the tears. Oh, look at that happy boy. A lonely look flickered across Luma's face, but it was soon replaced by a wide grin. I have an idea. I will transform into a comet, and a soaring comet that can carry you all on this journey. And then he exploded. With that, Luma trailing bands of white soared high into the sky and just as quickly started to plummet back down. Kaboom! Kablam! The ground shook and a bright light poured out of the crater that the Luma had created. The bands of light twisted together to form a comet tail. And then Luma emerged, reborn as a comet. The girl could scarcely believe her eyes. But how? she kept asking. Our destiny as Lumas is to transform into different things, said a red Luma, who had suddenly appeared. Stars, comets, planets, we can become all of these things. When I grow up, I want to become a star that makes someone special smile, said a green Luma. A blue Luma chimed in. That Luma turned into a real cutie of a comet, didn't he? Oh, it's a <laughs> All of the Loomers together said, No more crying, Mama. Thank you, said the girl in a whisper, and she pulled the Loomers close and hugged them. From that day on, Starbits no longer fell from the girl's eyes. The comet set forth for the girl's home planet, its long tail blazing proudly behind it. With its many Loomers and telescopes, the comet was quite a sight to behold. The girl and the Loomers were proud to call it home. At a welcoming party for a new Luma, the girl gathered everyone in the kitchen and said in a louder voice than usual, All right, everyone, let's make a cake. A cake sprinkled with star bits. Then it will be a star cake. The Loomers excitedly began to gather the ingredients. As she watched the Loomers scurry about, the girl smiled and thought to herself, this is my family now, and I will stay with them until they're ready to leave the nest. And when they do leave, I'll see them off with a smile. Because that's what makes a mother happiest. That night when the girl lay down to sleep, a soft light enveloped her and reminded her of the blue planet she once called home. But it would be nice to return home once every 100 years to nap in my favourite sleeping nook. The comet carrying the Loomers and the girl continues on its journey to this very day. With more family members in tow than can be counted, it's said that the comet visits the girl's home planet once every hundred years, its proud white tail glittering in the sky. The end. What a wonderful story that had about four chapters worth of crying That's in it. All. Here's the thing, Rosalina seems to like straight face this entire game. Like, the, the story, the lore around who Rosalina is, is exclusively in that book. And if you just choose to never go in there, you may not even notice it's there. So, uh, and now time to finish the game. Long stream tonight. Let's get it done. Uh, the same cutscene. It's, nothing's different. There's nothing different. I'm not even joking. It's, it's the same cutscene. And, and I'm not even joking about the end of the game, but I can't do a thing about it, so... It's end of the level of the game, so... Uh, yes, go play this game, uh, unless you don't own it, in which case Nintendo gives you zero ability to buy it, unless you just have... Uh, oh, I guess you could buy games on the Wii U. That's probably your, your most readily available way to play the game, but you also need to buy a Wii Remote, and the Wii U is not... Available. 
really the cheapest thing to get. They're quite cheap, but yeah, you may just find it's cheaper there. I don't know, actually, because you can get, like, Wii U's reasonably... I don't know, actually. Someone, someone kind of double check. Like, is it cheaper to buy a Wii with Wii Remote? Or at least a Wii Remote and a Nunchuck. Don't jump down, I tested the last time. Uh, yeah, is it cheaper to get a Wii Remote, a Nunchuck, and a Wii? It could be a Wii Mini as well. It doesn't have to be too great. And a copy of the game. Physically, because you had to do it with Wii. Or, is it cheaper to get a Wii U? Uh, I guess you would need the gamepad, so that would come with it. Uh, you'd still need a Wii Remote and Nunchuck. And then buying the game digitally, which is fairly cheaper. And also you do get the ability to get Galaxy 2. There's a bit of a value prospect there. Uh, you actually, you can also get Metro Prime Trilogy on the Wii U, can't you? Just go for that. I'm still bummed that, like, Metro Prime Trilogy, like, doesn't let you use game controls. Oh, wait, I'm doing this section legit now. What happened? I think someone was probably upset because I wasn't even, like, saving time going over there. Yeah, I apologize for that one. I literally, like, did a gutsy jump that, like, saved, like, two seconds, except I died the first time. Oh, wait, 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 Take the hit. Get out of there. Uh, this end level's fun. I like it. it. Goes through a lot of concepts. You got these weird little like transport tube things. I still don't know what's really like on with that. Right for sure. Uh, these bullet bills are absolutely terrorizing in this spot. But it's not too bad. You just you're going for that launch star at the end. Oh, 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 oh! I got it. It's cool. It's cool. I got it. It's all fine. That's not fine. But uh, no, yeah, it's it's a fun game. Uh, my only general concern, and I think I've mentioned this already, uh, is that. Uh, yeah, it, like, uh, granted, it's it's a solid, like, yeah, 10 hour, longer probably on a, on your first go experience. It's a great game. And it, it's lows are not that low. Which I think is probably the sign of a really good game. Um, this used to be sitting at, like, Metacritic's, like, was it Metacritic's or was it Game Rankings? Like, they were really tough spots for, like, the longest time. Uh... RIP game rankings, by the way. I mean, the, the aggregation services. <laughs> See you, staircase. Don't need it. Uh, aggregation sites, like, you know. I, I feel like game rankings never got, like, as much of a recognition as, like, it probably should have, considering that it was, like, it was so raw in how it uh, approximated games. And just kind of, like, you know, took, you know, which, which sites did it take the, the scores from? Basically, just like, give the breakdown even further. Uh, game rankings, of course, has uh, had the issue of like, how do you separate a game that had been scored like twenty times, and how do you separate a game that has been scored? Uh, I gotta time this. How do you separate a game that's been scored a hundred times? Because it's like sometimes a game that has been reviewed by a hundred uh, reviewers, it's gonna be a bit trickier for it to maybe end up with the perfect score. Metacritic has solved this by not caring. Uh, I believe Metacritic does require a certain number of scores, but it's still like it's still like, uh, uh, and I know, I know, yeah. Everyone who watched stream number three has seen this again. I did fight Bowser twice that day, so you did miss a stream with uh, the two streams with no Bowser. No one in the balls. No one in. Wow! How'd that hit him? How did that hit him? How did that go? Wow. All right. So, yeah, if you missed day three, yeah, you, you just hit him twice, three times. Or is it three times the last one? I think it's three times the last one. Uh, he's 
gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. And there he goes. Oh. Oh. Alright, let's try some... Yep. Got him. There we go. Oh. He's back for two. Now I'm angry. Every time. Every time. There's just too many bosses that I do it. Oh, now I'm angry. I love this bit, but... Uh, uh, oh, and if you want to be an absolute cheap step, yeah, uh, just take me like me, I guess. But, uh, obviously, uh, legally own the game in some capacity, but I guess the hardware. That's the, that's the interesting thing with emulation, is that, like, uh, we went for two and I didn't capitalize on one. That's the interesting thing, is emulation, like, I know emulation in terms of, like, playing games you don't own. Oh, obviously, that's the reality aspect of that, but, like, it's not like hardware you don't know. Did I just cycle break while I'm taking it? Uh, there we go. He's gone. Now, you cannot skip any of this, so I, I get to put the controller down. And watch this for another 10 minutes, I know. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> but, no, well, yeah, like, what's, what is the legality on playing games on emulators, but you own the game? Like, you can, you can buy... Oh, I don't know if you can actually run, like, physical games on top. I'd imagine there's a way, so... They'd have to... Well, I guess GameCube games are going to be the, the tricky one on, on Dolphin's end, but... Uh, so, yep, there's a grand star. It's not a full grand star, because you'd have to get 120 stars in order to do this. Because you can't get 120 stars before you get this one, so... Why they... Yeah, why do they put the ability to play as Luigi uh, and play through the whole game again, by the way? Huh? As Luigi, like, uh, not not the bit in the Mushroom Kingdom, like at the very very beginning, and also as a hidden 121st star. If you beat the game as Luigi, which you can then back to as Mario, which is why you see some people do that. Uh, it's it's too much to to ask us to stream the game again. Um, and honestly, like, yeah, it's it's not a it's not a challenge. It's it's just the fun, like. Bonus. Um, so, uh, yeah, it, it's a neat bonus to be able to play the game again as Luigi, but honestly, I feel like the 120 stars is, is enough to, to say, yeah, this game is, is great, this game does a lot of things that are neat. Uh, Rose Lima. Bonk to over the head with a telescope, so, you know, that's good. Bowser's upset because I spoiled the same plan twice, apparently. But, uh, yeah. So, I guess, I guess, yeah, Elephant in the Room sequel, uh, will I stream it? At some point. I, I remember playing it for a bit and then not finishing it, so that's 100% one of those games that I know I could do way better. Um, so, yeah. I'm curious what, what game I would play next um, on stream. I got a whole... That, that's that's the brilliance of having a one-a-week schedule, is that I don't have to think about it very much, because I get a whole week to figure that out. Oh no, the Luma is sacrificing himself yet again. Mario's in shock because there's one Luma that didn't pick up enough Sabbats for that one last hungry Luma. Yeah, I, 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 I guess the story kind of comes, sorry, and uh, quotes, but comes full circle because it basically ties all that Rosalina stuff with 
events that basically happen in the game. The fact that the comet comes every hundred years, which they mentioned at the very beginning and then never mentioned again, by the way. Uh, the fact that Rosalina is, like, ancient. Now we're in that fun part of the ending where I gotta mash A a couple of times because you've seen all this text about like, oh, can you hear, can you hear the crying? Can you hear the crying? That's you on Boulder Geist. Look how dumb you sound, man. Oh, the booze won't hit him. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's... <laughs> is, that, is that not an accurate statement? 100% I'm making fun of the fact that I died a ton on Boulder Geist as a kid. And that would be how I sounded. Also, are they actually... Hello, Cat Gaming, how's it going? Also, do, does Rosalina, like, legitimately just say that, like, every single one of those baby loomers just died? Like, they just... They went into the pit. There's, there's a cycle of, cycle of being reborn, but... You know, you know... There's a certain element of, uh... Rebirth that, uh... Humanity doesn't quite... Uh, take the same way as a lot of other things that want to make it magical. Eh, game got a G rating. It's fine. There's Mario. Sleeping on the hill. He's not on a hill, per se. It's not really a hill. How miraculous that the castle did land in the same spot, though. And also, there, there's Guppy! There's your Guppy! We found him! He's back! There he is! You thought you couldn't escape Guppy? He's eternal, he's trying to eat seagulls and bees. He's got a lot of work to do, man. I think you have to be on in order to, like, think that you can eat bees. Is that Grimes? That's topical, isn't it? <laughs> People are gonna look back on this and wonder what on earth I'm referring to. But no, they won't actually. No one will. Well, look. <laughs> I'm, I'm selling myself short on that one. Wow, would you look at that? The Mario, Mario's home place is being terrorized by a bright light in the sky. Yeah, it's so bright though. Welcome new galaxy. There was a tornado happening at that point. Mara's gonna really look out for that, jeez. So I replayed the game, or rather, sorry, I replayed the last level of the game. It's, it is the exact same. They do not change a thing about it. I'm not even joking. Like, you're intended to beat it. Get the 120. Beat it again. You gotta do it again as Luigi. You gotta do that same thing twice. Because the purple comets are not there when you start off. I believe. Which, that's a shame. I, I, that'd be interesting having the, the purple comets kick in, like, right away. Oh, my voice is killing me because <laughs> two hour 43 stream. Ugh. How do people do it? How do people do like incredibly long streams? It's crazy. Uh, do you remember the one bit where there were a ton of uh, dry bones? That actually happened. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I guess I took a little longer than 10 hours perhaps. But, yeah. Not, not, not doing it for the speed run. We're doing it for the fun run. The fun run is where it's at. No, yeah, that's, there was a... Like, you know what's actually really surprising? Like, this game came out in 2007, which was rather early Wii. Basically a year in. There wasn't really... Like, an interesting... 360 PS3 game I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, GTA 4 came out like four months later, which you know, kind of soiled the water there, but um, 
I guess it was probably an Uncharted on the PS3. Little Big Planet wasn't until a fair bit later. I'm trying to think, like, what was. I'm kind of being a bit blue balled over Gran Turismo 5 for a while, so. <laughs> the best you had was a HD concept, which wasn't really. wasn't really a sequel. Imagine being a musician in this orchestra and then just like. You're just under the orchestra. A lot of orchestral works will not list your name as a performer. Which is, I guess, interesting in that regard. But, yeah, like, I, I feel like this game, like, really cemented the Wii for, like, the non-casual crowd. Um, I've, I'll pull it back slightly with Mario Kart Wii coming out. That came out actually a few months after this, yeah. And and then the Smash was brought it back in. Um, you had Twilight Princess at launch. That's the thing. That's the interesting thing. The Wii ends up having that like notion of it being like for the cheaper like you know family games. Yet Nintendo still kind of released games on it like they've always done. They've not really done anything that different. Um, I think it was more that, like, if it wasn't a Nintendo game, like, yeah, it kind of was, like, you know, you're Rayman Raving Rabbids. And you, you Call of Duty very stripped down version. Uh, but, no, yeah, that's, that's that, that's, that's credits, very long credits. Finally, the end. You missed the end? No, nope, no, nope, this is the end. The end is right now. You've got it. And Thank what... you so much for playing my game. So, you go through the effort of being the end of the, the end level twice. 120 stars. How do they present it? They just go... Hey, you get a cutscene. You get a cutscene. Sup, Nintendo Gamer? How's it going? It's the same melody as the one when you get the Grand Star, but it's oddly up pitch for some reason. Thank you. I'm still confused as to how the gate, planet, and then how that connects with everything. Like, legit, she goes into the door, and then she's on the comet? Or is that a house? I don't know, man. Yeah, she, she's on, she's in the part of the, the thing. She j jumped and joined the crew for Super Mario 3D World. Oh, exactly, man. Like, they're doing the same thing with Pauline to some extent as well. You, you know exactly what they're doing. It's like, ah, oh, yes, marketable character. They got real lucky with Rosalina as well. Like, I don't think they've had a character that, like, could basically tick as many boxes as Rosalina. Um, like, not even Peach. No, oh, sorry, not Peach. Not even Daisy, I think. Legit. You monster, you left the loomer alone, man. So I guess is that is that the the Elmer the rebirth there? Daisy is so underrated. Super Luigi Galaxy. <laughs> one to share with it. Oh maybe. So you can play as Luigi. That's it. But you get that nice little ending cutscene. Give some closure. You didn't just say Peach, because honestly, like Peach exists for like two seconds in the game. So yeah. And yes, you can now play as Luigi. You thought six save files was bad enough? Well, I don't need this one. I don't need it. Actually, no. Sorry back out uh, because the Luigi aspect is on your save file. Luigi, Mario, Luigi, Mario, Luigi. You can switch over and you can now play as Luigi. So there is that. Uh, but yeah, you'd start the game all over again and you gotta just work your way up and get 120 stars. And only then, at the very end, when you get 120 stars as Luigi, can you access the one level that you can definitely just Google. Or play it for yourself. Whichever one. With that, I would like to thank 
everyone for watching. Uh, yeah, Luigi is, yeah, it's, it's the exact same game. It's just, you do get the slippery controls uh, as Luigi, but it's like, man, you are not going to see anything new if I was to play it right now. Yeah, oh yeah, exactly. So, usually, whenever someone plays a game like this, they stop now. If you're a Choco Conroy, you start at this point. Galaxy 2 when I would like to play soonish, but I would like to play some other things uh, first. So I'm worried the chat is going to absolutely cut off. But yeah, no, I, I, I definitely want to play Galaxy 2 at some point. That'll be a fun one. I'm glad that's the message that didn't fade off my screen. Um, yeah, but oh yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, Twitch, subscribe on YouTube, but it's just the same content. Tune in next time where I will be playing different games, but I will try to be the same dumb person that I always am. Have a good one, everyone. Stay safe.